Kim, what is our second main topic today? Okay, Chris Moss says, Good morning, John and crew. After watching Matrix Resurrections, I was wondering if you happen to know the process for a movie to get greenlit. Do studio execs actually read the scripts, or do they just hear the name of a popular franchise during a pitch, like Star Wars, Matrix, Kingsman, Predator, and yell, green light? Because I think Matrix should have gotten a red light ah a little bit of uh squid game reference going on there um yeah so look you guys know uh, I, I went to go see matrix resurrections yesterday <laughs> i couldn't stop laughing at your out of the movie oh you right? watched my out of the theater review i was cracking up i li listen you tried so hard to be nice i tried to be nice <laughs> Here, look here's the thing I didn't see it, nobody <laughs> everybody knows that i have not been excited about matrix 4 Okay, full disclosure, I have not been excited about it. Um, you know, I love the first Matrix as much as anybody. I like Matrix 2 more than most people do, but it was a decline. And then Matrix 3, most people don't like Matrix 3, more of a decline. And, and since then, the Wachowskis have done what I consider to be a couple of the worst films maybe ever made. So I didn't feel, with, with, and with how much time has passed, and the fact that only one of the Wachowskis was coming back, I, I just didn't feel excited for it. Then the trailers came out and the trailers were balls. The trailers were so good. My jaw was in my lap. I'm like, how can this movie look this good? Because that trailer was, it's, it's one of the best. I put it in the top five best trailers of the last six, seven years. That's how good I think that trailer is. It's amazing. It actually got a little bit of enthusiasm in me to go see the next matrix. Right? So, all that's being said, then we see the initial reactions. The re initial reactions were a little bit mixed. Um, not a bad Rotten Tomatoes score when it came out. It was in the high 60s. So certainly not bad. A, a decent score. So I'm like, all right, all right, I'm going to go see this myself. And, you know, I was tempted to just sit at home and watch it on HBO. But I'm like, no, this is The Matrix. I'm going to go watch it properly on the big screen the way it's meant to be watched. So I went out to watch it. It's awful. It's awful. Let, uh, let me talk about some of the positive things first. Number one, it is great to see Keanu back as Neo, right? And he doesn't miss a beat. He really doesn't. Like he, it felt, it feels like he's done six or seven other Matrix films in the meantime. He feels Amazing. totally comfortable in this role. He steps right back into that world. He still has a little bit of the whoa going on, but that's that's fine. That's what that's Neo. So he's able to slide right back into that world. Some of the action set pieces, and there's not a lot, but one of the action set pieces in particular was actually quite good. I, I, I thought the action, overall, the action was not bad. I've heard some people complain that the action wasn't very good. I thought the action was fairly solid. There wasn't enough of it, but there was some fairly solid, uh, some fairly solid action. It, particularly one scene was quite good, I thought. Quite, quite good. Um, I thought the performances were all pretty solid i i thought the, obviously you have carrie ann moss and keanu reeves obviously they stepped right back into being neo and trinity great to see them but the supporting cast was great too and you know a lot of people asking a question and i understand the question why isn't Lawrence fishburne playing morpheus the movie explains why he's not playing morpheus not a very good explanation but it's an they, they do give an explanation nonetheless and then, you know, what's, I thought Neil, Neil Patrick Harris was, is Neil Patrick Harris. That, that guy, he, he has charisma for days. It's great. The problem is, and I'm going to spoil a very, very small little thing that's in the first act of the film. Okay. This is a small detail, not super important to, you know, all the unraveling of the story in the second and third acts, but I am going to give you a little bit here. Okay. So, cause I, I need to to express why this movie lost me almost right from the beginning. Okay. So if, if you want to tune out, go ahead and tune out now, because I'm just going to give you a little bit of what's in the setup of act one. Okay. But here we go. So Neo is now a game developer. He's a video game developer. And he made, anybody want to guess, anybody in this room want to guess the name of the video game he made that made him famous? The, 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 the Matrix? That's right. 20 points Hufflepuff. Thank you. So he plays a character. 
He's a guy who has, who's now he's a video game creator. Thomas Anderson is a video game creator. And he got super famous because 20 years ago, he made a trilogy of Matrix video games. Three Matrix video games. And now Warner Brothers, and he swore he would never make another one, but now Warner Brothers, I kid you not, Warner Brothers wants to force him to make new Matrix games. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Are we talking about real? Wait, yeah, Warner you, Brothers you is in the movie? It. Yes. Warner, Warner Brothers is in yes. the Warner Brothers. Warner oh, Brothers is in the Warner Brothers movie. Man, <laughs> changing the game right there. That's right. <laughs> I don't even know if you're talking about real life or not. Okay, okay, go on. I'm interested. And no, and so not. like he's like, <laughs> no, I left the Matrix. I don't want to do another Matrix game. Uh, Warner Brothers says they'll do it without you if you want to do it. They said the first trilogy is not enough. The people want more Matrix. Okay, so I guess I got to make more <laughs> Matrix. And of course, okay. in this Matrix game, he had characters like Trinity and Morpheus and blah blah blah. But he, you know, he's he's as you can tell from the trailers, he's he's like struggling with his sanity. Like he's confused. Wait a minute, was the Matrix real? You know, all That's all that kind of shit. stuff. And then wow. along comes. Uh, this sounds greater. Yeah, me. then along comes. <laughs> it oh, does. Now I'm raising. I don't know why I like this. Movie. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> okay, so then anyway, oh my God. stuff happens. <laughs> Colleen Wing <laughs> comes into the movie. Uh, you know, Neo wakes up again, which we of course see in the trailer. So that's fine. And, and then everything else starts to go. So I I will say this. The <clears throat> As soon as this started, I'm like, <laughs> you've already fucking lost me. I mean, this is so stupid. It's just such a stupid notion. There are ways. Look, when you look at how Matrix ended, Matrix 3 ends, Neo sacrifice. Neo dies. <laughs> okay. Trinity dies. They're dead. And the peace is now brought to the world between the machines and mankind and blah, blah. It's like, there are many places you could go after that. There's many different paths. St. Keanu Reeves is playing Thomas Anderson, who's now a popular video game developer who made three movies. Oh, I'm sorry. Video games called mm -hmm. the matrix one, two, and three okay. with all these characters. Um, I'm just like watching this. It's like, there's, there's something about being a little self-aware. There's, there's a charm when a movie's a little bit self-aware and has a little bit of meta going on. This was just like, hey, I hear self-reference and meta are the cool things. Let's just throw self-reference and meta in it and people will love it. And it's like, so it lost me right off the bat. But then they start moving through it and it's like, okay, this is a thing now. Oh, all right. And it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, that new thing. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. But there are several of these. That new thing can't just be, this is a thing now. Oh, okay. And, and then everybody just buys into it and accepts it and moves on from there. This movie does a lot of retconning. So there's a couple of big, big key concepts are retconned from the original film with very, just a, wait a minute, how can that be? Well, ABC, oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> totally retconned something that was from the original films. It's just somebody going ABC. And it's, it's contradictory. And even its resolution at the end and turns to me and goes, Anne, who had no idea what was going on in the movies, because she doesn't <laughs> yeah. she doesn't remember the original Matrix films at yeah, all. <laughs> like at all. So and so even Anne is turning to me at the end of the film and she's like, Well, wait a minute, and ended like this. But wouldn't this, 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 and this just happen and, and kind of mess up what it is the way they ended this film? Yes, honey, that's pretty much exactly like it just it's just a missed opportunity. Hey, look, I was not excited for this, but there are very, very cool things you could have done. And to me, they just shot themselves in the proverbial foot. It, it just did not work for me whatsoever. So I know, Kim, did you have a chance to watch it? Because it is out on HBO Max now. Do you have a chance to see it? Um. Oh, my gosh. First of all, <laughs> I was so excited for this for many reasons. And first, let me say, I know that a lot of people work very hard on films, so I don't want to be disrespectful. So I'm just going to say it wasn't for me <laughs> or in other in the words of Damon Wayans and David Allen Greer hated it. <laughs> Absolutely. I was when that happened, that plot detail happened in the first act. Um, and by the way, I haven't finished it. I'm I'm like a third of the way through because I uh, fell asleep. Because you have better things to do with your life, maybe? <laughs> My sock drawer was a mess. And I was like, <laughs> I can't have this. So I just walked away. Um, 
<laughs> why? What were you? What were? What were you? Why are we doing this? Why? It reminds me of that Instagram where the little baby's going, "What the hell?" Right. And the mom's like, "Don't say that." What the hell? That's how I felt the whole part of the movie that I watched. I am incredibly disappointed. I when they mentioned that word, Warner Brothers, I I, I just. I was like, you didn't just go there. You didn't do that. No, you didn't do that. And then they just kept on and kept on. It was insufferable. You know what I thought of immediately so when they brought up the Warner Brothers thing? The thing you said the other day, it's like, you know what the worst part of the Oceans movies are? When oh, Julia Roberts gosh. played Julia Roberts? That's exactly the exact same feeling I had watching this movie. Uh, yeah. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> That's all I got to say. It's so so you, you were only able to trudge your way through about a third. And I, and, I, and I had so much hope for it. I was so excited. I know excited. you did. You were excited about it. Everything that people were like, ah, it looks bad because of this. And I was like, hold on to hope. Don't give up. No, 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 no. Just, just give up. Just give Throw up. Throw a white towel. True story, Ray. Mm -hmm. um, so Ann and I, we park... To, we get to the movie theater and we park. And as we're walking towards the theater from the parking lot, around the corner coming out of the theater are oh, Hong, yeah, yeah, Hong yeah. Matt, and Ryan. Right. right? Our, our buddies. Oh, I thought you were going to say Keanu Reeves. Yeah. No, yeah, Keanu Reeves oh, comes child. walking around the corner. <laughs> hey, John, what did you think of my movie? <laughs> you better like this movie, John. It, it sucked, bro. Good Canadian kid, Keanu Reeves. But we're walking in and Hong, Ryan, and Matt come walking around. <laughs> and as soon as they see us walking into the theater, they start laughing. They're like, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, you guys saw Matrix? Yeah, it's a movie. <laughs> I'm like, really? And the Matt goes, I'm telling you right now, turn around and get back in your car. Right. <laughs> okay. That's exactly what okay. Matt said. Yeah. And he he you, said, just turn around, go back to your car. <laughs> and I don't think this is, this is not a spoiler. I don't believe this is a spoiler at all. But if anyone knows, Keanu also owns a company called Arc Motorcycles um, in real life. Mm hmm Tell me why there was a reference to a character like, yeah, I build motorcycles now. I'm like, oh, like the real actor you're sitting across from? For real? We're really going to do that? See, I, that went right over my head. What I didn't the even hell? know. I know Keanu does a lot of stuff. I didn't know he made motorcycles. Well, I'm just like kind of so That kind of went so over my head That's the only reason that I knew that. But come on, but, hey, guys. Listen, it should be noted. The it hell? should be noted right now. Let me see if I can bring this up. Um, uh, it should be noted right now. That it, it's as much as I didn't like it and you didn't like it, it has a solid positive review rating on Rotten Tomatoes right now. And the audience score isn't horrible either. Look, they got 68 and 67 percent respectively. I mean, I'd love to know a what they're smoking and b what movie they saw, because maybe I can watch them, too. People, but that yeah. is the beautiful thing about movies. It's all subjective you opinion. Know what? God bless. But. Um, but yeah, so it should be noticed. So listen, if you guys are on the fence about seeing this movie, just jump over the fence and throw yourself over, over right, right now. And just get over it. Go back to your car. <laughs> just jump over the fence. Just jump right I'm back over. I'm still going to watch it later, probably. <laughs> you should watch On it. HBO Max, though. Yeah, yeah, you can watch yeah, it. Yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend time going to the theater for yeah. it. But I mean, look, the reality, though, is we don't like it. But there are clearly people who do. And so if you've been thinking you're excited for this movie, don't be dissuaded from seeing it just because I don't like it. I My job is to tell you my opinion. That's it. It's not to tell you what to do. So if you've been excited for this, you owe it to yourself to give it a shot. Because listen, clearly there are some other people who are liking it. And we are in the minority. But yeah, well, Karen, apparently we didn't like the movie so much. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Have you had a chance to see Matrix Resurrections. If so, what did you think about it? Did you not like it like us? Did you love it like some others? Whatever you guys feel about it, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.